Hi guys, welcome back to the PC Repair Guru channel. Today we're going to show you guys how to download and install malware bits on Windows 10. Windows 10 was just released just yesterday on the 29th July 2015 and just to let you know guys how to install it and uh, if you have any problems installing it on your system on Windows 10 if you just recently upgraded to Windows 10 and uh, you have a problem with it installing it do leave a comment below and I will try to get back to you and um, here we go okay Google download malware bits for Windows 10 I kinda like this feature so I tend to use it quite a lot okay and okay, as you can see here if you're gonna go for with the free one you can also take the premium one which uh, it will actually protect you in real time anti malware so but I'm gonna stick with Windows I mean with the malware anti malware the free version of it and it, it is compatible with the Windows 10 so I'm gonna download that Do like and subscribe the video guys if you like my videos and it's a straightforward installation give me my you, you can have problems in the during the installation so you know if you have any problems do comment below leave a comment and I don't tend to put it on my start menu because it tends to hog basically um, uh, when it comes to programs I don't want to Hog the start menu with programs to be honest with you and let me create a desktop icon okay um, so it's up to you your choice that and if you want to freely take on on a free trial for malware bits premium it's your choice but I'm gonna stick with the free version you can see it does the job okay allow okay seems he has done it okay as you can see here I tend to have like a folder and where to put the programs for all the cleaning programs I tend to actually put it in here so so far I only, I only have like four close to programs where I actually mainly use that's one of them is that the firewall and antivirus which uh, I tend to use because it's for more more of advanced users and I tend to use it it's kinda like it and you got CC Cleaner and SpyBot and as you know mal malware bits. So these are the four programs I tend to use that actually you know basically safeguards you from any viruses, malware, Trojan, you name it. Uh, especially when they update. Okay, so I'm gonna be updating. Okay, no more updates. It's been fully updated no more updates and it's telling me to actually do a quick scan which I really don't really need a scan it's just uh, basically I just recently recently uh, update, upgraded my Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 well you, you, you got a choice rather to up, you know scan it but uh, seems, since it's a quick scan you shouldn't find anything but uh, you never know you know maybe there's one uh, Trojan cookies maybe that you tend to scan so it's a quick scan don't know if they let me go to settings yeah you also you can get the settings as well as your choice I think there again uh, again I do not want a notification on below I tend to have less because you know just don't see the point unless you have a premium then there's a point but since you don't have a premium it's kind of pointless having it putting it, putting it there if you can do this on a weekly basis or monthly basis your choice I think again if you want it like on a regular basis you want it to be scanning then 
here there's option to scan the root kit as well so basically I will go with this one as well it detects the, any other root kit malware that's out there scan within the archive I don't tend to have that one because it takes a lot of time when it comes to uh, files that are in WinRAW format and in a zip format basically if there's a uh, basically loads of files and it tends to scan in it don't like the idea uh, you know basically I'd rather have it stayed in that zip file than okay and uh, as you can see uh, you can actually notify the user if data page is out of day more than seven days yeah okay I'm okay with that Here it's saying customized behavior for protection of malware antivirus. Those settings are recommended for advanced users only. Which uh, I don't see why that is tend to be a advanced. So I don't tend to start it up with the Windows. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to try something for this. Maybe it needs a admin. Okay, this switch is only available in trial and premium version. Okay, then. Okay, that's fair play. You know, when you need that. Okay. Okay, right now it's, tends, it's uh, scanning. It is taking quite a bit of time. And I'm taking under five minutes, I take it. Yeah, that's when it's uh, fully scanned. Normally it does a quick scan from the start, you know. Keep you know, if you find something if you find something it will be in a quarantine zone where it will show here and from here you can either restore or delete it uh, it will tend to tell you to restart the system which you can do you know once you delete it you might want to restart and uh, these are the log files what's uh, basically it stands so far And there you have it guys. That's quite basic to be honest with you. Once that is done it will it will just basically say it's, it's done basically and uh, there's nothing more to it to be honest with you. So you can do this on a weekly basis or a monthly basis, um depending on what suits your needs. Basically um I, I tend to do it within a week and maybe close to a two, three weeks. But uh, sometimes I do forget to tend to use it because I there's uh not really need for it unless unless if the system is running slow if the system is running slow you might want to consider using all four programs to actually find out tackle where the pro problem is and that's about it to be honest with you. do comment below if you have problems installing this or any other related problems regarding windows 10 um, and uh, do subscribe and like the video if you like my videos do like them like them and uh